Of course, last but not least, it's the very, very start. Is of course Kento, which we didn't know what it was called back then, and we just decided just it was just a Pokemon game, the very first Pokemon game, red, blue, and yellow. With red, blue, and yellow, we had Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, and of course, if he got yellow, Pikachu, <laughs> and you get to have the other starters. So let's start with the best one. It's kind of weird because back in the day, I would say the best one was Squirtle. And Squirtle was pretty cool. I mean, the only messed up part is the fact of it suffered the same thing that they gave for Alligator. The fact of you did not actually give him decent amount of moves. And it kind of sucked that Skull Bash, one of the nice moves that Blastoise can learn. Sadly, you had to learn it by TM. But later on, they fixed that. But that's good. But still, and what's worse is like later on, I'm like, oh, I have to wait one move for him to use it. Maybe I need to get out of that. Yeah, I need to get out of that set mindset. But yeah, Squirtle was pretty cool. Squirtle was very good. It was a great choice because you were able to go against Brock and Misty. But then as soon as you go against Lieutenant Surge, that is where all things changes. Everything's freaking changes. <laughs> uh. But Squirtle, look at all of his evolutions. Pretty cool. Awesome. I enjoy his freaking, yeah. And not to mention, he got a freaking new mega evolution. Oh, holy crap. They turned him into the Wolverine. Shing, shing. And I'm like, holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> I would still pick Squirtle. It's like, yeah, I still pick Squirtle, but with Game Boy Advance, Sadly, usually we'll pick whatever is on this thing. It's like, sadly, that's how I go for it. It's like, yeah, I can't do it. It's fire red. I got to pick Charmander. Squirtle, Charmander, Squirtle, Charmander. That's the messed up part of it. It's like, oh my gosh, this sucks. <laughs> it's like, why can't we get Pokemon green? I mean, actually Pokemon ocean blue or aqua blue. Not sure what they would have called it, but they only just wanted two games. If they would have actually been cool and give us a third one, that would have been very, very nice. And who gives a care if you actually would gave us a Pokemon Yellow Game Boy Advance version? No, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Now we get to Charmander. Charmander is very, very good, too. He can actually stand up against Brock, but of course, well, Misty, on the other hand, is a complete jerk bag. <laughs> but after that, after you go against Misty, it is smooth sailing after that, which kind of brings you to the point of, man, damn it, Misty, you piece of trash. How could you? And you have no choice but to actually look for grass type. Like, I guess Paris would be good. Paris would be a good idea. Uh, Pikachu, of course, is like, yeah, you can go get Poopachu. <laughs> uh, you could actually get some others. I think you're able. No, I think that's about it. That's mostly all that you can kind of get. Oh yeah, you're able to get Oddish though. You're able to get Oddish or Bell Sprout. That'll actually help you out too. Well, one thing that's very cool that they did for Fire Red is the fact that they were like, well, look at this. Squirtle's able to go. Bulbasaur's able to go against Brock, but. Charmander, on the other hand, he is way disadvantaged. I mean, yes, people can do it, and I did it before, but he's like, but he's so disadvantaged. We need to give him something very special. And that's why at level 15 on Fire Red, you're able to learn Metal Claw. And that was pretty wicked. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was pretty damn awesome. I'm glad that I'm able to give lots of freaking Charmander's Metal Claw. Because I transferred one that does have Metal Claw, so they most likely will learn it in egg form. If not, I will just choke my Charmander and say, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, beautiful. And then they gave him two, two actual Mega Evolutions. And I'm like, whoa! But of course, you know, the X one is better than the Y one. The Y one's a piece of trash. The X one is awesome. Oh, yes. Not to mention the fact of eventually he learned fly, but that is kind of bullcrap that in red and blue. 
no, he can't learn fly, but later on, yes, they fixed that. And that's a good idea. He can learn Dragon Rage, right? Yeah, he can learn Dragon Rage, which that's pretty awesome too, especially going against Lance's piece of trash. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. And then last but not least, of course, is Bulbasaur, the one that I would not even choose. I mean, I even raised it to the point of 34 because it was such a chore to raise him. It was such a freaking damn chore. I mean, I can understand why some liked Bulbasaur. Technically, one person likes Ivysaur that I know. Glad he's not watching this video or he's going to be like, hey, how dare you? How dare you? You freaking dissed Ivysaur. Go Bulbasaur attack. Well, at least the good news is as long as I have Charmander, my Squirtle will not be harmed. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, but still, Bulbasaur, he's okay. I mean, he's okay, but his final attack is Solar Beam. And then you also have Razor Leaf. That's good. Vine Whip. But as soon as you, you get up in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, those attacks starting to not even work as much as they used to. And that's the real bull crap. And then you have no choice but to be like, okay, well, we got to do some missed up taxes. We got to get some paralyze. Got to get some poison power powder. We got to put them to sleep. We got to use leech seed. <laughs> it's like all that. And I'm like, man, why, why do you have to underhandedly go against them to win? And it's like, well, we got solar beam. I'm like, eh, solar beam. It takes one freaking turn to charge. And you could actually get, I mean, yes, it could take a punch, but frick, it can't take a punch as much as the others. And it gets knocked down before you even can use solar beam. That's the real mess, the bull crap. It's like, yeah, and that's why I was saying, it's like, yes, we need a better grass type move. That's a final move that we can use that actually won't cost us one freaking thing of all damn. And yeah, we could learn Sunny Day, apparently, and Sunny Day does work. But again, you're actually just costing yourself one turn still. And of course, Bulbasaur got a Mega Evolution. I don't really care about it. <laughs> so Bulbasaur is the one I would not choose whatsoever. Sadly, that is how it goes. I wish I could, but sadly, I can't. And that's the sucky part of it all, is that I can't really do anything with Bulbasaur. I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes. But at least eventually they broke the whole four-legged code and got Trico in this. And then as soon as they remodeled and decided to say, oh, let's go four-legged Turtwig, that's when they found, ahaha! But then they kind of a little bit screwed up with the fifth generation. And in the sixth generation, you already know what happened in the rest of those. But anyways, thank you for watching, folks. And if you love Bulbasaur and hate me for dissing Bulbasaur, please comment down below. But just remember, I do have a freaking Charizard that's level 100, and she will kick your ass. <laughs> thank you so much, Fire Red.